Hey book friends, welcome back to the channel. So we are gonna be talking about my 2024 TBR today. So I don't usually make this video. I feel like I shy away from the like huge stack of books for a year because it just feels like too much pressure, right? But the thing is, I'm a TBR girl. I love making lists. I love organizing my lists. I love thinking about what books I'm going to be reading. And I genuinely have like 24 books, well, probably more, but I have 24 books I wanna share with you today that I am really excited for and I am anticipating reading them in 2024. And in no way do I feel like I have books that I have to read or I should read or I should have read by now because those are the books that will stress me out. That is not this list. This list is the one I'm so excited to get to. So let's just hop in the video and I will share all of these books with you. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel, all the stuff. So like I said, these are the 24 books I am most excited to read in 2024. Now this is not like, and anticipated releases, like 2024 releases video. This includes all variety of books, but actually it does include some 2024 new releases. So actually let's just start with that category. It's a good place to start. So some books that I'm excited for that are on this list that come out in 2024. I'm gonna start with one that might be a little surprising and it's The Fury by Alex Michaelides. It's surprising because I did not like The Silent Patient. I know that's like a very popular book, but when I saw the description of this book, I was more excited because it was described as a bit of like, and then there were none and Knives Out, which Knives Out is one of my favorite movies. And so it's about this like ex movie star, like this really famous person who likes to invite her closest friends to her private island for like a getaway, right? You can see where this goes and that's what gives me the end. Then there were none sort of setting and then there's a murder. And I don't know more than that, honestly. I don't really want to know more than that, but that is a premise that I can get behind. So I'm excited for The Fury. Next is The Atlas Complex. So this is the third book in the, I have no idea if it has a title, but the first book is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. And I finished reading that. I'm reading the second one currently. I'm really enjoying this dark academia type book. It has to do with these people that have kind of giftings, magical giftings like telepathy or they can control elements or whatever it is. They have all these giftings and they've been invited to this secret society, the Alexandrian Society, in order to study magic throughout the ages. And there's only one catch is that of the six of them, one of them won't make it into the society by the end of the first book. So it's really good. And the Atlas Complex finishes out the trilogy. All right, so the next book I'm really interested in is the new Lee Bardugo called The Familiars, I believe, or just The Familiar. I don't know if this is a standalone book. I thought it was gonna be a standalone book. And it sounds like it's kind of historical fantasy, which I really enjoy. And so this has to do with like a girl who I think she's working like as a maid or something in a big house. And she has like a little bit of magic. Like it's like almost like a talent for small miracles or something to that notion. And when her like mistress discovers that, she tries to utilize it, but then somehow like the King of Spain somehow becomes aware of her and she gets drawn into a whole big political magical world sort of thing. I think it sounds really fun. I'm partial to historical fantasy, so I was excited to see her new release. The next book I'm so stoked for is the new Stuart Turton. So it's The Last Murder at the End of the World, I think is what it's called. It comes out in the summer, and it has to do with something about this like utopian island that's surrounded by fog, and I'm not sure if the fog is the bad thing or like the mainland is the bad thing, but they're kind of isolated on purpose until one of the scientists is found murdered on the beach, and then somehow their like protection system starts faltering and they only have like 72 hours to figure out what's going on or the fog or the outside world is somehow going to enter the island. Something like that. I'm a big fan of Stuart Turton, so I'm super stoked for that book. And the next is called The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. And now I tried to read Foundry Side by him and I didn't totally get into it. And I'm not sure if this is like the first book in a series, it probably is, but it is touted as a Holmes and Watson type situation, like a fantastical mystery, which I can also get really behind. So I'm excited to try that book out. I can't remember when it comes out, sometime in the first six months of the year, I think. Okay, and then the next one that comes out in 2024, I actually have a copy of already because it was an early release through Book of the Month, which is one of my favorite perks of Book of the Month is that they do have early releases, but it's called No One Can Know by Kate Alice Marshall, which I've been 
interested in trying out one of her thriller books. I've heard good things. And this one is has a blurb of three sisters, two murders, and too many secrets to count. So it's about sisters who left home and never returned. But it sounds like one of the sisters is down on her luck. She's pregnant, she has no money, so she has to return back to the home where her parents were murdered. And then somehow her sisters come too. I don't wanna know more than that because it's a thriller, but I'm so excited for that. That sounds really good. And it's actually part of a book club that I'm a part of on Patreon. And then of course I want to read the newest Riley Sager, which his new releases always come out in the summer. And this one's called Middle of the Night, I believe. And so it sounds like it follows the storyline of there were these two boys growing up in kind of the burbs and one night they were out and camping in the backyard or something like that. And one of the boys in the morning wakes up all alone with like a slice in his tent and somebody had kidnapped his friend and he was never found. And then 20 years later, the guy comes back to his hometown and strange things start happening again. That's just a fun premise and I really enjoy books that are about that. But honestly, I always read the Riley Sager book. So that's definitely on my most excited books for 2024. And then I also want to read the newest Peter Swanson book. I'm not quite sure when this comes out. It's called Talent for Murder, I believe. And it's about this librarian who starts to believe that her husband is a murderer. And I don't know why, and I don't know what's going on, but it just, it sounds really interesting. And so that's on my list for the year. All right, another thriller. So I really like reading the new release thrillers, obviously. So another thriller on my list will be the new release by Ruth Ware. I think it's called like One Perfect Couple or The Perfect Couple, something like that. It comes out like, I think May. And it's also got a bit of an Agatha Christie's and then there were none trope to it. But I believe it involves like five couples that are on an island and there's like a killer stalking them or something like that. And then my last like 2024 new release, book I'm anticipating is not a thriller. It is the latest Kristen Hanna book, which comes out earlier in the year, maybe February. And that book is called The Women. And I'm so excited for it. Kristen Hanna just, man, she writes emotional books. And this one sounds like it's gonna be no different. So it's about this main character who is a nurse who goes to be a part of like the Army Corps during Vietnam and all the struggles that that entails. But I don't think that's entirely what the book's about. I think it's more about like the struggles that happen when everybody comes home. And I think that's just a really unique premise and I'm not sure if that's been explored too much in the historical fiction genre. So I'm stoked, I'm ready to read it. And so those are the new releases in 2024 that I'm most excited about, but that doesn't end my list. I have other books on my list. And so some of the easy ones that are on here I'm going to include because I know I'm going to be reading them and I picked them because I'm excited about them. And they are books that are part of my reading challenge, which I just made a video about like a couple weeks ago sharing my 2024 reading challenge. And it's kind of a slash buddy reading situation. So if you want to join me for any of these books, the Discord's always linked down below. But I'm gonna pop them up quickly because I talked about this quite a bit in that video. And so I'll link the video, obviously. So here are the books that I own. I'm gonna be reading What the River Knows by Isabella Benyez. I still don't know how to say her name. I apologize. And then I will be reading these ones. And so I'm reading books two and three. So Kingdom of Copper, as well as The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. Two and three in the Deva Bad series. I really enjoyed The City of Brass last year. And so I'm looking forward to that. So that's on my excited to read books. I'm also picking up Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Torres. This just sounds really fun. It's just kind of a book about libraries, magical libraries and sisters. So both things I really enjoy in books. And then for our October reading challenge book, I'm reading If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. So all of these books I'm really excited about, but there are some that I don't own that are part of the challenge. So I'm also excited for The Man Who Died Twice and The Bullet That Missed. So those are books two and three in the Thursday Murder Club series by Richard Osman. So excited. And then I'm also going to be reading and I'm excited for Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. Now I don't read a lot of romance, but I loved Part of Your World last year. And another book actually, which is not part of my challenge, but I'm just gonna mention here, is Yours Truly. So I want to read this one, hopefully kind of early in 2024, before the summer one comes out. So maybe she'll just be the only romance author I read from. But those are actually two books that are on this list. And then Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. So I really enjoy his work. Hopefully these ones won't let me down. 
and I already talked about the last murder at the end of the world so that's part of the reading challenge and then the weaver and the witch queen by Genevieve Gornicek so excited about this book you guys I'm so excited it's kind of like a Norris family saga sort of historical fantasy so those books are definitely on my 24 books that I'm most excited about and please go see that video if you're interested in buddy reading any of them with me so you're always invited for that but let me get to the last couple books because adding up the 2024 new releases as well as my reading challenge books I have only four books left which I mentioned already the Abby Jimenez book and then I'm also wanting to get into more science fiction. I've picked up a couple. I find them very interesting. And so I've heard good things about Megan O'Keefe as being a good entry point, an entry author into science fiction. So her newest series is called The Blighted Stars and has something to do with these two people. They're stranded on a dead planet, forced to ally with her mortal enemy. Survival's the only option. And so they kind of have to get along. And it goes from there. I actually don't know exactly what this is about. I just know she's a good author to start with. And I'm so I picked up the book and I want to read it. I'm, I'm really excited about getting into science fiction. And so the last two books I'm excited about for this upcoming year, I want to get to this. I got this from book of the month. I thought I was going to read it right away. I actually started it and something got in my way, but it's none of this is true by Lisa Jewell. I've heard really good things. I've heard it's a really fun twisty book and it has to do with like this podcaster and like a fan of hers working together and then there's secrets in both of their lives or something to that notion so that sounds awesome and then the last one i picked up as kind of a whim after watching all of the goodreads choice awards content here on youtube is the book that wouldn't burn by mark lawrence so i've never read any mark lawrence this one has to do with libraries and books and it's a fantastical world and I'm not even really sure what it's about, but I've heard such good things that I want to see what it's all about. So this book I'm also putting on my 2024 TBR. So you guys, let me know your thoughts on any of those books. I'm really excited about a lot of the releases. I'm really excited about the reading challenge. Do any of you make a list like this? Some part of me is like, this is crazy because I only read about 50 to 60 books. And so 24 books is kind of half my reading, but I was trying to be really realistic with how I've been reading. And I hope this kind of encompasses that. I think it will be a successful TBR, but I won't let myself get stressed out about it because that is silly. I just wanted to make a good pile of books for this year that I'm super excited about. And so I hope you are also excited for any books you plan on reading in 2024. And let me know down below your thoughts on any of these books, if you'll be joining me for the buddy reads, all the things. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to. And otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next book video. All right, take care.